Joining us now, Kansas Republican Congressman Ron Estes, who just stepped off the floor there for the final vote. Congressman, great to have you with us tonight on the record. Well, it's great. Great to have you with me. Let's talk about uh, what you're working on. Uh, you just introduced this Restoring Normalcy in America Act. It sounds good. Uh, we could use some more normalcy. And it's really about President Biden um, holding his administration accountable for this uh, perpetuating COVID-19. Uh, they want to mask us up again on planes. Congressman, tell us about your plan and your legislation. Yeah, it's really, you go back to uh, earlier in the fall, President Biden said that the, the pandemic was over. And so we, we have, we've passed the crisis point on that. And, and the Restoring Normalcy in America Act is designed to help get us back to doing some of the standard things that, that we should be doing. You know, for example, within the bill, we, we want to make sure that uh, we, we actually test and treat the effectiveness of the vaccines and the treatments and making sure that we have that information out there. We want to audit all of the money that actually was uh, uh, set aside for COVID through, through the Centers for Disease Control and the Health and Human Services. We want to make sure that we focus on, you know, the emergency use authorization was such a, which was a useful tool to get the, the vaccine developed through Operation Warp Speed. But we have a good uh, FDA process for approving vaccines and medications, and, and we think that uh, all of these vaccines and medications need to make sure we go through the normal process now that we're past the crisis point. And one of the things that I really like about the bill is that, you know, so many people were, uh, their careers or their livelihood was put at risk. And what it does is make yes. sure that they can get back to their careers and their jobs. And particularly federal workers and, and servicemen and women can get reinstated and, and with, without being held accountable or, or harmless for well, I'm, uh, the actions. I'm glad you... I'm glad you led us there, Congressman, because that's what I was about to ask you. The Armed Forces Press is reporting something that's really tragic to our veterans. Soldiers are being kicked out of the military because they did not comply, of course, with the COVID vaccine mandate, which now they don't have to get. But they're being forced, they are reporting, to pay back their recruitment bonuses in addition to losing their jobs, losing their careers. Um, do you think you can get them some relief with this uh, legislation, Congressman Estes? It really is. That was one of the key things that we wanted to put into the legislation was that it, it addressed uh, the, the unfair treatment that was uh, done to our servicemen and women, done to federal employees, done to so many health care workers uh, as well. Uh, but we want to make sure that uh, they're reinstated uh, to their careers, uh, that they, they are, are held harmless uh, because of these decisions. For, for whatever reason where, uh, that they didn't want to take the vaccine because of uh, medication comp or medical complications or, or religious beliefs, uh, but we want to make sure that they're not uh, unfairly treated and make sure that they don't get uh, penalized for promotions as well as having their, their bonuses and, and hiring uh, uh, wages pulled back from them and make sure that they're held harmless. Very good. And we know there's been trouble with recruitment, so obviously this will go to um, the whole picture here when we look at people who want to come and serve our country and those who have done so with honor. Um, and we have to salute them and take care of them. Uh, Congressman Estes, unfortunately we're out of time, but I uh, appreciate you coming on to talk about this important uh, legislation. Uh, it obviously is something that will impact so many Americans. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you.